Hey, Sayer Woods Bible Church, Dan Scanner speaking here. We're looking at the question of how is the Bible divided up? There are different sections in the Bible uh, with different authors there and, and different things that they're covering. And so how is the Bible divided up? I think that's important for you to know as you get more and more familiar with the Word of God. So if you have your Bible with you, this would be very helpful. So I have my Bible with me here. And so if you open up your Bible to the table of contents page, right after the table of contents page, there should be a listing of the books of the Bible. And you can kind of see, I already have it written down the different sections and I'm gonna go through those today. Uh, but I think this is very, very helpful if you put this into your Bible to know where the books are uh, what and what they're covering, what the material is in those books. So the way we go uh, first is starting with the Old Testament. There are 39 books in the Old Testament. There's also 27 books in the New Testament to form 66 books of the Bible. All right, so the 39 books of the Old Testament are divided into five different sections. The first section that you'll find is the books of the law. And so in your table of contents, right after that, you'll see the listing, the books of the law, that's Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. So those are the five books and they're known as the law. Uh, Moses wrote those, they're known as the Pentateuch. Okay, so that's your first five. Now your second grouping in the Old Testament is books of history all right so your second grouping there books of history and there's 12 of those and you can see joshua judges ruth first and second samuel first and second kings first and second chronicles ezra nehemiah and esther and those are all books of the history of israel so all books of history all right so that lists the books of history so you have the books of the law five the books of history, 12. Your next section in the Bible, in the Old Testament, is another section of five books, which is known as wisdom literature or books of wisdom. That would start with Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Song of Solomon. So you can see that listed there. So that, now you got five, the law, five, history, 12, and you have wisdom, five. Now your next section is what's known as your prophets. So the first section of the prophets, this section of five books is known as the major prophets. And those five major prophets are Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Daniel. Now there's a book in there you'd say, well, well, who's Lamentations? Lamentations is written by Jeremiah. So Jeremiah writes two books in the major prophets, but there are only four major prophets, but five books. And then our last section of the Old Testament is known as the minor prophets. And you can see those listed there on the bottom of my Bible contents page there. And those are listed as Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. So that covers the Old Testament, those 39 books of the Old Testament. So you can remember it this way, 5, 12, 5, 5, 12, 5, 12, 5, 5, 12. So five books of law, 12 books of history, five books of wisdom, five books of the major prophets, and then 12 books of the minor prophets. Now we'll move into the New Testament. So same, just the next line over there and you can see the listing of the New Testament books and the New Testament books start with four the four Gospels Matthew Mark Luke and John so the first number is four the second number is the number one and that is for the book of Acts you could say that's church history or how the church was formed the church that we participate in today 2,000 years ago started in the book of Acts at the day of Pentecost. After the book of Acts, so you have four gospels, one book of Acts, book of church history, 
Then you have 13 of Paul's letters, 13 of Paul's letters. Inside of Paul's 13 letters, you have a few in there that are to individuals, or we name them as the pastoral epistles or letters. So they are as follows, Paul's 13 letters, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians. So that section there is all letters to churches that Paul formed. And so Paul was writing these letters to these churches uh, because he was a part of their birth. He was a part of them growing uh, and he was a part of them relationally and spiritually. The next section you can see in Paul's letters are the pastoral epistles or, or letters to individuals. And they are as follows. First and second Timothy, Titus and Philemon. Finally, you have the number eight and that is general epistles or general letters. And that is known as Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st, 2nd, 3rd John, and then the book of Jude. There's some, we're not gonna get into the debate today, but there is some debate as to who wrote the book of Hebrews. Uh, most scholars, uh, conservative scholars would say that Paul wrote the book of Hebrews, but it is a general letter to the Hebrew people, especially those who were coming out of Judaism and desiring to follow Christ. Uh, so that, that's your book of eight or your general letters of eight. And then the last one is prophecy, which is the book of Revelation. So the numbers for the New Testament are as follows. 4, 1, 13, 8, 1. 4, 1, 13, 8, 1. Four gospels, one book of church history, 13 of Paul's letters, eight general letters, and then one book of prophecy. After all that, there's obviously there's uh, 66 books there for you to try to memorize and try to know where they are in your Bible. But I believe that will help you understand the breakdown and divisions of the Word of God to us for today. Hope this helps. God bless.